Good evening. Hello. <laughs> Finally got notifications. Yay. Good evening. <laughs> wow. I hope everyone had a good Thursday. I think my stand's a little crooked. Hold on. There we go. Oh. All right, I think that's not good now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Just watching on YouTube. It's your Friday. That's even better. Yes. Always the best. <laughs> Is everyone getting notifications now? I was going to say more people came on quicker this time, so hopefully the notifications are starting to work better. I just started. Thank you. Yeah, I just, I quickly recorded it and posted it because I haven't posted anything in like three days. Yes. Hi, Donna. How are you? <laughs> Yeah, full moon in preschool. Full moon in first grade don't mix either. <laughs> Finally got notifications. Yay, I hope the apartment works out. FYP, okay, good. Thank you everyone for tapping. I know when you guys tap, it helps boost. So hopefully people who aren't getting notifications will start to see as they swipe through. Hello, how are you? Hello, hey Coco. I'm gonna be honest guys, tonight's probably not gonna be a very long session because I've been going nonstop for, what time is it, the last 14 hours. <laughs> Hey Nancy, how are you feeling? This week's been a crazy week. Retrograde's finally over. We survived. <laughs> then there's the full moon. It's been one thing right after the other. Oof. Hey Renee, how are you? So tonight, I'm going to keep it simple. I got my Chevron Amethyst, my Pocket Stone, and then I have two little ones so we can do the pulling with the crystals. Because I don't know about you, but I need some like deep relaxation tonight. <laughs> it's been such a crazy week and it has been like nonstop. First notification, awesome. Tonight, I'm probably only going to be on for maybe an hour. Although, knowing me, I'll probably start talking and lose track of time, and it'll be longer than that. <laughs> yeah, this whole week's been very overwhelming. I completely sympathize with that. You take melatonin, so when I take melatonin, I have crazy dreams, so I can't take it. But we're this close to the weekend. I can see it in the future. It's so close. <laughs> hey, Becca. I know these last two months have for sure been a battle. I don't know. I know we just had the full moon. I don't know what retrograde is next or what shift in energy is where. If anyone's more into the astrology than I am, please let us know. But I'm hoping we, we get a little bit of a breather. <laughs> Your baby shower this week. That's so excited. I hope it's amazing. Chamomile and lavender tea. Yes, I love chamomile tea. You weren't expecting to see me live on this account? Am I on the wrong account? <laughs> I 
I don't think I'm at a thousand yet on the other one, so I can't be. This is my regular account. I just changed the picture. If that's throwing you off, that could be why. I changed the picture back to my face because when I was hopping in other people's lives, I think people were ignoring me because I looked like a business. And while well, this is like my business, like people weren't talking to me. So I changed it to my picture and now people talk to me. Isn't that weird? <laughs> I think people were avoiding me because I looked like I was like, you know, trying to like spam or promote stuff. So I switched it back temporarily. I'll probably end up changing it back because I don't want to throw people off. Hey, Sophie, I'm so glad it's helping. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know why the picture throws people off, but it is what it is. The bed that's already yawning. No. <laughs> yes, we just started. I just hopped on a couple minutes ago. Make sure you guys have water or tea, something to hydrate. That's the one thing I have been very good with this week. I've been drinking like crazy. So if anyone tells me I'm dehydrated, that's like the furthest thing. Hey, Michael, how are you feeling? Hey, Tattooed Writer, how are you doing? Thank you. Yeah, last night we had, so Wednesdays we have our bowling league. You guys, I'm getting better. <laughs> I don't suck so much. <laughs> And I was seeing all the, the numbers and the scores. Hey, Abra, how are you? My TMJ was bothering me. It's It's been bad this week, but not, like, severe. Like, I haven't had to, like, use my thing on my face. But it definitely, like, it keeps popping, which is annoying. Thank you, you as well. I'm good too, thank you. This week's just been busy and crazy. I was saying tonight's session's probably only going to be an hour because I've been non-stop since like 8.30 this morning. Hold on, these comments are starting to scroll through too. Yeah, so we just started, we joined a fun league for bowling this year. And we were like the worst team, but because we have such a good handicap, because we were the worst team, we were in first place last week out of 32 teams. But it's only because we've improved every week with the handicap. <laughs> so we're not good. We just have help. <laughs> Rosalie's fundraiser is good. I think she's over 400 now. So I think she's like maybe $80 away from the $500 goal. And we still have, I think, a week or so left. So she'll for sure hit it, I know. Hello. Thank you so much for the gifts. Yeah, in the crazy. <laughs> oh, you listen while taking a test. I'm so glad. I definitely can't take all the credit, though. That's that's all you. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad it's helped you rest better. Yeah, that's what the handicap leagues are for. So there's, I think out of the 32 teams... Like, it's a fun league, but I'm going to say, like, at least half the teams are, like, serious bowlers. So it's kind of like, like, we're so intimidated when we bowl with them. But everyone's been super nice and very understanding and patient with us. Like, they all get strikes, and then we're up there, like, taking our two turns. <laughs> but I bowled a 154 yesterday, I think, was my best one. Hi, Juan. So I'm going to give it one more minute and then we'll start. We're already at 14,000 likes. Thank you guys. That's awesome. You've helped some people hop in. I know for sure. Oh, why is your doctor putting you on a heart monitor? You're very welcome. Hey, Vamp, how are you? Hello. Yes, thank you, mods. Always, I have the best moderators. Hi, Lily, how are you? She 
She bowled until she was 93. So the guy who's the president of the bowling league, he's 94 and he still bowls. And let me tell you, he freaking kills it out there. <laughs> we played him, I don't think it was last week, I think the week before we played him and his team. And he was like, for 94 years old, I mean, I'm like, man, I'm 35 and I'm hurting. He's up there bowling. So if I swipe right when I watch lives, it still hides the chat, but I have seen some people say that they haven't been able to get it to work. Yeah, definitely wear the heart rate monitor for the two weeks then. We want to make sure you're good. How do I do all this and work and still sleep? I am very used to just being nonstop, I think, at this point. I was telling my husband, I was like, we have not gone on a vacation since our honeymoon. My daughter's six and she's never been on a vacation. Isn't that crazy? Because of our business, every time I have time off from my full-time job, I always take the time off and use it around the holidays to work our business. So we haven't gone anywhere in like six years. That's bananas. Over six years. All right, guys, make sure you have something to drink. Um, my family business is the laser engraving. So if you, I have the link for our Etsy shop in my bio at the bottom if you want to look at our signs. We do all like laser engraved home decor. So like, all the signs back here are all from our business. Yeah, we're hoping to do a vacation soon. So we have a timeshare, but because of the business, we've just been like renting it out the last few years. So we're hoping this year coming up that we're just gonna like put the shop on vacation, take time off and just go. <laughs> Um, so my lives are Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights at 1030 Eastern Standard Time. Although I started a little early tonight because I just wanted to hop on because I know I'm not going to be able to stay late. Our timeshare is in St. Martin. My in-laws, their friend had a week at a resort and she sold it to us for super duper cheap just to cover the maintenance fees because they already had like six weeks at another place. Um, so we have it there and we just rent it out and we can't go. I just started maybe 10 minutes ago. <laughs> it's your boyfriend leave for me so you can relax. <laughs> I know. Thank you so much for the roses, mama and vamp. All right, guys, let's have a big sip of whatever you're hydrating with. And let us begin with our selenite cleanse. So tonight's healing, I have my Chevron Amethyst. Just about relaxation, de-stressing, meditating, whatever you want to release. I have a lot of stress. My anxiety has been like through the roof just because I've been so busy and on the go, not even because of anything in particular. So if you're in need of some relaxation <laughs> and you would like to receive this healing, you can type that. You can send it in the comments, sing it to yourself, say it out loud, whatever you're most comfortable with. If you do not wish to receive but you would like to hang out with us, you are still welcome to hang out as long as you're being respectful. Retrograde's over. We survived the full moon. We're hoping for a little breather now. <laughs> So let's start with our selenite cleanse and then we'll jump in with the chevron amethyst. Yeah, if you feel like you've been in fight mode all week, that's a great way of explaining it. I feel like if I like don't like I feel like I can't stop all week. I've just been like go go go. I mean, I feel like it's a good problem to have to be busy at work because I'd rather be busy than bored, but it's like I'm busy at work. Then I'm busy with the business. We had a huge wholesaler, which was phenomenal for us. And then I've been trying to catch up on here and YouTube and sessions. <laughs> so hopefully it's starting to settle back down a little bit. Yeah. 
Yes, make sure you're relaxing your brow bone. Unclench those jaws. Relax your shoulders. If you can lay down or sit back so that you're comfortable, do so. Try to let your arms and your legs relax. Try not to be so tense and tight. Take deep breaths in through your nose. Hold it for a few seconds. Breathe out. Deep breath out through your mouth. And just try to be present in the moment. I already feel better just saying that. <laughs> I need reminders too. <laughs> hey Haley, oh I saw your email, I forgot to write back. I'll write back after this, the live. Let me know if you want the session for the two of you or just you. A nice plateau. Haley, I can do it together or separate, whichever you prefer. I just wasn't sure if you both wanted it or if it was just for you. <laughs> you both beat all up and get okay. I'll email you when we're done. Hey Ness, good morning, how are you? Happy Friday. Thank you and my friend and co-worker was going through her adoption process for her daughter. She was selling these as a fundraiser and I have to say I don't know who makes it, but it's like the most comfortable shirt I've ever owned. <laughs> Thank you Peggy for the PayPal. I just saw the notification pop up. That will be added to Rosalie's fundraiser. Oh, I forgot to update you guys. So for those of you who know Dallas Skies and Donna, I saw you on again. I think it was last, was it this week or last week? I think it was this week. Um, last week I hopped on his live after we talked about how cool it would be to have a dual live with him. And I hopped on his live. It was like the day of or the day after that. And because you guys were like all up in his comments when I said hi to him, he was like, Nicole, he was like, did you say something about me? And I was like, yeah, like totally shouted you out on our live. 
And he's like, oh, thank you so much. He's like, I got a bunch of followers. And he's like, people were like leaving me all different comments. So he hasn't said anything to me about the dual live. I'm not friends with him on here. I don't think he follows me. So I might shoot him a message on Instagram or something and see if he'd be interested in doing that dual live. But you guys, we're manifesting it. We're like closer and closer every time. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to put pressure on him at all, but I think it would totally be cool if, if he would be willing to do it. But if not, I'll still love him and watch him. Oh, Keely, I'm so sorry to hear that. I know. I've, like, over the last two weeks, I've passed out to his lives, like, four or five times. I wake up at like five o'clock in the morning, but it's like live ended. <laughs> yes, Dallas underscore skies. Michelle hopped on at the end of my live, I think Saturday or Sunday last week for like 10 minutes, but her connection was not good where she was, so it kept cutting out. And she was nervous, <laughs> but she did like a quick little meditation at the end. Yeah, if you're not following Dallas guys, go follow him. He plays guitar, but it's like the most serene, relaxing music. And he has such like an amazing energy. He's his lives are very much like this, where it's a very safe space. You're allowed to like open up and vent and stuff like that. His moderators are really good too. So, and I don't know if he has set schedule for lives. I always just get notified, but I think they're pretty random. But his lives are usually like an hour or so too. You got your shipment from Monk and Moon today? What did you get? Dallas underscore skies. S-K-I-E-S. -E and he has a YouTube as well. And I think he uploads his lives there too. So you can go there and pull up like hour long of just him playing guitar. Go follow him and leave a comment saying you want to do a dual live with me. <laughs> We're manifesting it. We're going to make it happen. Thank you. Good, Nanny. I'm so glad. Good, Courtney. I'm so glad it helped. Hey, Jess, how are you? Girl, you have been all over my For You page. <laughs> I'm like, 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 like. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you for the cranes. <laughs> Don't be sorry. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Ruth. To the best of my knowledge, full moons are when you're supposed to release. New moons are when you're supposed to manifest. So you can do things where you release what no longer serves you. Um, you can do moon water. You can charge crystals if you have any. Unfortunately, covered in crystals, yes. <laughs> yes, Kelly. This is Reiki, which is a form of energy healing. Hey, cool mama, how are you? You heard manifesting isn't good on full moon. So the way I was taught was that if you think of the moon as like a plate, if you have a lot of food on your plate and it's full, you're not going to try to put more on it. You're going to try to release. But if your plate's empty, like a new moon, you want to bring stuff into it. I don't know if that makes sense. I really don't think there's a right or a wrong way to do it. It's all about your intention and what works best for you. If you are feel more comfortable doing it that way, absolutely go for it. Cause I'll tell you, like I struggle to remember certain things and that's like, I don't remember who said that someone on here, I don't know if it was on this live or a live I watched was talking about, it's like representing it with the food. <laughs> yes, Abra. <laughs> and I was like that I will remember now. <laughs> hey cakes, how are you? Thank you. All right, let's hydrate. For those of you who are new, we always take hydration breaks because one, it's just really good for you in general, but with the shifting of the energy, it makes your body sometimes feel like it's going through a detox or a cleanse and staying hydrated helps that. <laughs> yeah, it's very relaxing. How is it possible to feel the energy through the screen? So the screen is really just more of a visual aid. I'm trained in distance healing. I've been doing Reiki for 18 years. 16 of those years has been able to do distance sessions. So whether I was on the phone or computer with you or not, I can still send Reiki anywhere in the world. We're talking to you there about Reiki healing. You've never heard of it. I was intrigued. That's good. Good that they're open-minded. So how do you turn the comments off? Typically, if you hold above the comments and I swipe right when I'm in lives is how I'm able to remove the comments, but I know it's different for everybody. Yeah, so energy is not bound by time, distance, or space. We're all made up of energy. It's all based on intention and free will, so as long as you consent, you can receive. You're very welcome. Thank you, sunshine. Good, I'm glad he's open-minded. So I can do 
uh, card readings, but I don't do them on here. Yeah, so I was telling you guys on the last live that I had to uninstall TikTok and reinstall because I wasn't getting any of my like inbox notifications. So I uninstalled, reinstalled it, it worked. And then when I got off the live, it hasn't worked again since. So I think something's just going on with TikTok in general. Okay. Got my Chevron Amethyst. Yeah, my, my inbox hasn't been giving me notifications for, I want to say almost three weeks now. So I'm not sure. Did I get a message about a free session? No, so when TikTok did the update, it removed all my messages. So I can't access messages from before that thing. So if you sent it a while ago, I can't get them anymore. And I even went into the settings to try and allow people who aren't friends with me to send messages and it's not an option anymore. So if anyone wants to contact me, you either have to do it on Instagram, which I'll be honest, I don't check that often or send it to my email. I've been on for about 25, 30 minutes. Okay, let's start with our Chevron Amethyst. Posted on the anxiety video. Okay, I'll have to go back and look because I don't get the messages, like the notifications anymore. I'll try to scroll through the comments. Is there a reason? Sorry, the comments are coming in quickly. A reason why I resonate more to your Reiki healing than other Reiki masters. It could just be how you feel the energy. There are people I feel their energy more than others. And I always encourage people, like if there is a practitioner that you feel more than me and you're drawn more to them, absolutely go support them too. Hey, Boombox, I'm good. How are you? I mean, think of it this way. There might be people in the world who you just connect to better than others. You might be more drawn to their energies and stuff too, whether they're Reiki masters or not. There are some people where I walk into a room and I just know from the beginning that I ain't going to vibe with them. There are other people where I'm like, oh, we have good energy. Yeah, I'll go back and I'll check the comments and see. Were you the one, you did the... Is it the emotion code I think you were saying? I think I remember you talking about that. I think that was you, but I might be wrong. Now I'm second guessing it. <laughs> hey Ivy, how are you? Okay, yes, okay, yes. I will definitely go back and check. Hello from Arizona. Good, thank you. So to become a Reiki master, I am a Yusui Reiki master. And in the Yusui style of Reiki, there's three levels. There's level one, which is where you're able to do Reiki for yourself and others in person. Level two is when you're trained to do distance healing like we're doing now. And then level three is where you become a Reiki master and you're also able to teach and attune others. Um, so for me, I did each level with the different masters because I was moving around a lot. I was in college at the time. Um, but the Reiki masters that I practiced with and studied under, you had to have at least a year in between each level. Right now I'm doing one-on-one -on -one email distance sessions. The link is in my bio. I'm trying to figure out when I can start doing the Zoom sessions. If I'm able to do them soon, 
I'm probably only gonna be able to do one or two a week and it's gonna vary depending on my schedule I'm trying to figure out a way to set up like group zoom so we can do like 10 or 20 people at a time for like different themes just so that it's not like 500 people in a live it's a little more personal even though it's a group I'm not good with technology so <laughs> I kind of rely on others to help with that is the energy more intense with the smaller group so as far as like me feeling it or do you mean like from your point of view Yeah, I think like a group of 10 to 20. I probably wouldn't do more than that. I'm trying to think how many people you can fit on like a Zoom screen where it's not gonna, like have to swipe to a second page for the client. So I think it varies. Like everyone feels the energy different. Like for me, even on lives, like there's some people I can feel it very intensely through and others I don't feel it as much at all. I have a question about this crystal. Sorry guys. Okay, what's the question about the crystal? Tennis on Zoom without swiping. Okay, so I'll probably try to keep it so that it's just one screen. Oh, the benefits of crystal. Hold on. I had it pulled up on my computer. So I use am this for like anxiety. It's very calming and very soothing. So tonight with like the intention being relaxing and de-stressing it's very good for that um it also helps to raise your spiritual energetic vibration so chevron amethyst is really good for your upper chakras it can assist you in gaining clarity of thought and insight into situations promotes personal and spiritual growth helps you find balance during life's ups and downs it can assist in communication with your spirit guides Enhances meditation and promotes calm energy and relieves anxiety and worry. You can have, change the zoom settings. I have a ton on one screen. See, that's good to know. <laughs> 500 people, you could feel it. Yes. You're very welcome. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to answer the questions as I see them, but they skip through so quickly sometimes. Hey Rad, I'm doing well. Rosalie's good. Oh, two panic attacks today. I'm so sorry. You're in a safe space now, so just try to relax. Deep breaths. Try to be in the present moment. Get nice and comfy. And we'll send some healing your way. Need <laughs> a suit of armor made of chevron amethyst. Yes. So for those of you who are like newer here, I have amethyst everywhere. I have it in my purse, my car, my pocketbook, um, <laughs> at work, at home. I have it everywhere. I always have it so that it's within like arm's reach in case I start to feel like an anxiety or panic attack coming on. I want to try and get some um, like copper wire to try wire wrapping some so I can start wearing them. Crystals to help with big changes in your life. Moonstone would be a really good one. It's all about stepping into new beginnings, new cycles, and stuff like that. So you could do rainbow moonstone, black moonstone. I have polarized moonstone. I think there's also like a peach or a gray moonstone. You heard my neck crack? Sorry to think it was that loud. <laughs> my neck has been bad like the last day or two. And I think because we bowled last night, it was more tense. <laughs> yeah so when I was on anxiety medication I sometimes depending on which one I was on I would feel good for like a month or two and then I got worse so I ended up having to wean myself back off of it yeah selenite you can put in each room it's good 
yeah, crippling pain attacks, no good. Talk to your doctor about if uh, something different or adjusting your dose or something. So I cleanse and charge my crystals often just because I'm using them so frequently. Um, but if you're not using them as often, like to me, if you're taking them out with you for the day and then you're bringing them back, I would probably cleanse and charge just because you want to cleanse whatever was out there that they were interacting with. But if you're keeping them at home and you're just like occasionally using them, you can definitely go longer. Yeah, for those of you who are newer who suffer from the anxiety and panic attacks, some of you are going to be tired of hearing me say this, but I found someone on here, like probably at this point a year ago, who is saying that when she gets anxiety or panic attacks, she thanks herself. So she's <clears throat> she says, thank you for trying to protect me, but I'm okay. Because she looks at it as that her body is her mind knows that her body is so amazing and so worthwhile that it's not willing to risk it against anything happening, which is why it induces those anxiety and panic attacks because it's trying to protect itself because it's it's not willing to risk you against anything else. So when you start looking at it that way and you thank yourself for trying to protect yourself, it doesn't seem like such a bad thing anymore. So since I've been doing that, my anxiety and panic attacks, I, they're not completely gone. It's not gonna erase everything, but it definitely alleviates it because you're not in this constant state of fear and panic when you're thinking to yourself like, hey, I'm okay. Like, you know, I know this seems scary, but I'll be all right. And if I do end up having anxiety or panic attack, it's usually not as bad or as long. So try thinking of it that way. If you feel the anxiety building, just tell yourself that you're safe. Yeah, anxiety is definitely not fun. I had a panic attack like two weeks ago, I think, because of a client at work who is just being a pain in the butt with work emails for like three days in a row. And it hit me out of nowhere. I blacked out. I had a pounding headache afterwards. So I know how they feel. I've ended up in the emergency room many times because of them. Because I feel like I'm dying. So I completely get it. But since I've done this and kind of rewired the way I, I see them and think of them, it's helped tremendously. Yeah, when I was younger and I had panic attacks, it was like heart palpitations. I could feel the adrenaline. I'd get like a little shaky breathing because I was so nervous. Now when I get them, it's like way worse. <laughs> I black out. My ears sound like I'm swimming. Ooh, thank you for those lights, Stacey. Those are beautiful. I haven't seen those yet. Um... Now I get like the blacking out, my ears, they sound like I'm like underwater, my whole body gets like heavy and limp, like I feel like I'm just gonna like pass out. Yes, yeah, so when I went to the ER, it was definitely, I get, I mean, I still wake up at night with heart palpitations. And I mean, I was very fortunate, the last time I went to the ER was last September, I think. And I walked in, I told the doctor straight up, I was like, listen, I have an anxiety disorder. I was like, it's probably anxiety. I said, but unless I come here and get it checked, it's not going to stop. <laughs> I was like, so run the test. <laughs> Let's reassure me that everything's okay. And thankfully he was super patient and understanding. So yes, I get it when I'm driving sometimes. That's scarier to me because I'm like, if it happens and I'm driving and I can't pull over, that makes me nervous. Oof, I'm getting hot. <laughs> yeah, anxiety can manifest in so many ways. And it's hard because so many people don't understand it. But it's like, if I broke my arm, it would take weeks to heal, right? So why do people think when you have, like, a mental health issue that it's just going to, like, resolve itself? Like, and I heard someone say, I think it was on TikTok, I saw the other day, 
they were saying that like, you know, they feel embarrassed that they have to take medicine for anxiety, but it's like, if you have diabetes, you take medicine. If your kidneys aren't working, if you have a heart condition, you're going to take pills for your heart. So why wouldn't you take medicine for your brain? Like, and when you, when you say it that way, it seems like, oh yeah, like, okay. But there's such a stigma on it. Yeah. And I have heart conditions that run in my family. So anytime I have something with my heart, I'm like, oh, this is it. <laughs> like, here it comes. I have to, like, convince myself that it's not. Yeah, when I first started going to, when I was in high school is when my panic attacks really started. And I was embarrassed. I was humiliated. I wasn't taking medication. And the fear of like having a panic attack in class in front of other people made me have panic attacks because I was so afraid it was going to happen. I just kept like, it just was a never ending cycle. And now, ever since I started going to a therapist, I've, I've learned that like so many people have it. But everyone's so afraid to talk about it, which is why I'm, I'm open about it on here. If I can help anyone, I'm all for it. Um, so citrine is really good for depression. It's very uplifting, very optimistic energy. Yes, the emotion code. Oh yeah, my therapist. I tell people now, going to therapy is the best thing I ever did for myself. I've been going for four and a half years. <laughs> I was going once a week. She's like, You're, you seem better. You could probably go every other week. I'm like, are you sure? I kind of enjoy coming every week. <laughs> now I go like every two to three weeks. So heat treated, heat treated citrine is actually um, amethyst, but it has very similar properties. Um, I actually, I've been told like the heat treated citrine, I have both, is like a little more of like that fiery energy because it's heat treated, whereas the natural citrine is a little more soothing and gentle. Therapy is cool, you don't want to be in multiple medications. Yeah, so I mean, I've learned to tell myself like, listen, if I need the medication, I need the medication. I'll do what I can to not have to take it, but I know my limits. And I know sometimes that I might just need the medication just to kind of neutralize myself again. And then I can kind of go from there. I was on one medication for 10 months. I absolutely hated it. And I did way better coming off of it. And then I had another medication that I was on for two months that I loved. But I ended up getting really shaky on it. So I had to stop. I tried CBD oil in between. That was probably the best thing I had. Um, and now I'm off medication. I have Xanax for when... I have like occasional panic attacks, just having it on me, knowing I have it if I need it helps, but I mean, I barely use it. Yeah, so sometimes it takes a minute to find a therapist you vibe with. I probably went through six or seven over the last decade before I found the one I have now. And I mean... I was very upfront and honest with the ones I had in the past. And I was just like, listen, like I would give, um, I always tried to give them at least like three to five sessions to see if it ended up having like a good vibe and good energy. And if not, I mean, they're therapists. They know they're not going to be a perfect fit for everyone. Yes. Feeling warm is completely normal. Yep, I just keep it on me just in case. And just having it as peace of mind that if I do need it, it's there. How do you have faith that you'll find the right therapist? It's all about trial and error. I try to give everyone the opportunity to just vibe with them. I try to go in open-minded. I hope they do the same. And I mean, don't be afraid to ask them questions and stuff, you know? They're there to help you. So if they're not in the same beliefs or the same things as you, 
just respectively part ways and, and try another person. Yep, just having help sim, absolutely. Yes, the therapist isn't on your team, they aren't for you, correct. Yes, yeah, so I'm very fortunate where my therapist, I didn't realize this till like a year into go seeing her, she's level two Reiki certified. She's done um, courses on the healing code. She's done tapping. I mean, she's taken a lot of courses outside of what like I think a typical therapist would study. So she's very open-minded, which is great. Um, so when I talk to her about things, whether it's spiritual, um, energy wise, she's like totally on board. And I can tell you right now, probably half of my previous therapist I tried would have like shut that down right off the bat, which is why they weren't for me. Yours too, Michael? Isn't that the best? <laughs> How would you deal with friends' issues? What kind of friend issues? <clears throat> this is Chevron Amethyst. I know if my therapist has virtual visits. She's, I know for a fact she's not taking patients right now, but I can ask her if she does to let me know. Yes, it can help with cramps. Um, she's your roommate. You haven't been getting along. Are you just not vibing or is there like a specific reason? Thank you for the likes, guys. We're just under 62,000. Make sure you're hydrating. We're both very headstrong. A lot of things that... Sorry. It's, yeah, a lot of things cause conflict that shouldn't. So one... I would try to just respectfully as possible just sit down and communicate even if you guys have to like make a list of things that you just are struggling to agree on or butt heads with and see if you can find a middle ground. Having roommates is tough because it's like you're stuck with them, but you kind of don't want to be sometimes. <laughs> but I would just try to communicate, see if you guys can negotiate or find a middle ground on some things. Abraf, who isn't good over the weekend? Um, I use yellow jasper for a lot of gut health, so that can help with heartburn. My pronouns are she, her. Ooh, my hands are hot. <laughs> uh, 
um, started about 40 minutes ago. Thank you so much, SD. Hi, Kens. I had to miss two days of work. I'm sorry. <laughs> you feel like you're falling asleep. Don't fight it. Let it happen. Just don't drop your phone on your face. <laughs> Best friends before definitely makes it hard. It does. I have people when I was in college that I was roommates with that I went into being best friends with. And now I just don't talk to anymore. Some people are just chapters in your life. They're there to teach you lessons. Maybe this person's in your life to teach you how to set boundaries and to stand up for yourself and to help you gain confidence. Thank you, Lily. <laughs> Love all those taps. And that's your first Grammy is going to be a boy. Congratulations. That's so exciting. Make sure you're hydrating. Yeah, get separate rooms. Do you do it? Do what each of you need to keep like your mental clarity. You know what I mean? Like if you're butting heads and it's just not going to work out, it's just not going to work out. Sometimes separating, but keeping the friendship is more important. You guys know yourselves and each other best. Do what you guys need to do for sure. Yes, beautifully rejuvenated. I will definitely look for your comment and stuff. Yeah, sometimes roommates aren't meant to be roommates. You might find someone else who's a better roommate and you could still keep the friendship for sure. You get stuff draining in your throat. You could have a block in your throat chakra. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. I appreciate it. I got, I got a lot of anxiety to work with, so <laughs> I hope you're ready. <laughs> Thank you for the gifts. Okay. Everyone nice and hydrated. I got my my little amethyst. So we'll do some of the pulling. Thank you, Crafty. I know the whole world is like anxiety right now. Oof. Thank you, Dustin. Yeah, so me, I can swipe right to hide comments, but I know some people that hasn't been working. Thank you so much, Emma. I'm glad. Retrograde supposedly ended on the 18th. But then we had the full moon, and we're still in, like, the energy of the full moon. <laughs> oh, my anxiety was, like, astronomical when COVID started. So I do read cards, but I don't do it on TikTok. I have this account just for the Reiki. If you guys want me to start doing cards, I can, but I, I figured the Reiki was kind of more popular because I know there's so many people who do cards on here.
Thank you. When I do cards, I read intuitively. So I don't like look at the card and read like the words and what it's supposed to say. I like intuitively pull messages through that way. Reiki is universal life force energy. So it's not based off of any type of religious practice or anything like that. We all are made of energy and contain energy. Um, as a Reiki practitioner, we are a vessel that shifts and manipulates the energy to you for healing. It's based off of always good intentions. It's also based off of free will, so you have to consent to receive. And it can help balance and align your chakras as well as remove blocks. It can help with um, blocks that are emotional, mental, physical, or spiritual. Your cat went missing this afternoon. Oh no, I hope you find them. You're very welcome. And my lives are a safe space for everyone. All are welcome here. My moderators are amazing. They keep the trolls out. They, they are quick to block. So <laughs> this is a very peaceful place. I'm glad you're back and you're feeling better. Thank you, Kay Hawks. I'm glad you're here. All right, let's go ahead and do the pulling because my energy is fading fast. I'm feeling sleepy. <laughs> so with the pulling, I always say to bring forward consciously what you are ready to let go of and heal from that is no longer serving you in your highest good. It can be a spiritual block, physical pain, mental or emotional, anything along those lines. I will then... Pull it out gently. I can only remove what you're ready to heal from, so anything that you don't want to release or let go of yet will not. And with the pulling, often you might feel like the sensations, especially in your, your head or your forehead. So get comfortable, breathe, hydrate, <laughs> and we'll do the pulling. So how do you get notifications for the live? So if you're already following me, you have to tap my name again. Unless they change it. I think if you tap my name, it brings up the options with the bells. And you can click to receive all live notifications. It started raining. Yes, rain cleanses, release. Thank you for the fall candle. I haven't seen that one either. Thank you, Hawks. TikTok ups their game with these beautiful gifts. I'm about to go on a haunted house. <laughs> Maybe this will help keep you calm. <laughs> that I know that candle was gorgeous.
Yeah, some people with the update, they weren't getting the alerts. So that's why when I start the lives, I always ask for people to tap the screen to get the little heart bar across because it will boost the algorithm. And most people who weren't getting notifications were already in the TikTok app. So I was hoping that when everyone tapped the screen, it boosts the algorithm as people were swiping through, we should pop up on their page. You might need to uninstall and reinstall the app. I had to do that last week and it helped for a little bit. But hopefully the notifications start working again. Like if I'm not on TikTok, I get all my live notifications. But if I'm in the app, they're hit or miss. You're most welcome. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, so when TikTok did their update, a lot of people stopped getting notifications. Security blanket, I love that. Hey, Tony, how are you? This is Chevron Amethyst. Thank you. Yes, this can help migraines. Thank you, Palm. was tight. We might hand tense up. I'm so glad she's healing. That's amazing. You're very welcome. I'm glad. I will do some scalp massages yet. Whew, that last one like made my hand cramp. <laughs> I'm so glad. 16, that's great. Yeah, so I get intrusive thoughts often too with my anxiety and <laughs> like even if I'm out in public, I'll literally just kind of like go like this and like grab it out of my own mind because sometimes just like the visualization of it too like helps. Or if you get it, like just tell yourself like, you know, now's not a good time and just like push it aside. Yeah, there's days where I'm at work, I'm sitting at my desk and people probably just like walk by and see me doing this and probably like, what the heck is she doing? <laughs> Seven cats. Oh my goodness. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, but tell, tell those thoughts you got more important things to do. They're on the back burner. <laughs> and then just keep them on the back burner. Just you ain't got time for that. Let me do some without the crystals because sometimes I feel like I can grip better. <laughs> they don't check the cameras. <laughs> So yes, it is possible for you to get a headache. Um, so there's something called the healing crisis where your symptoms will temporarily worsen before they get better. So you're probably feeling the block kind of push forward and then you should feel the release. So it doesn't mean it's not working. It doesn't mean something's wrong. Sometimes that's a good thing to, to feel it emerging and coming out and being released. <laughs> working for the cat rescue. I'm allergic to cats and these two are enough. If I had seven, I'd be wheezing all 24 hours a day. So if you're feeling pressure, try to relax your brow bone, unclench your jaw, roll your shoulders back, and just try to breathe into it. All the tingles. You guys are super seven. Awesome. You're welcome. We've had four plants and three propagation plants. Left side of your body is tingling. Left side is your feminine side. That's where you draw energy in. Yeah, everyone likes the scalp massage. <laughs> Do a little temple massage <laughs> for all those headaches. Thank you, Bulbasaur. I'm glad you're enjoying it.
Oh, in New York City, there's got to be so many people who do Reiki. <laughs> when I look in the camera. <laughs> I try to. I feel connected to. I won't tell about the Nana Juice. That could be our little secret. <laughs> Thank you, Tattooed Red. That's the second time those lights tonight. I love those. <laughs> you think he slept in the first few lives? <laughs> I'm watching a horror movie. No, that's okay. It's okay. You can multitask. Only two? Oh my goodness. I'll see if I can look up any. Make sure you're hydrating. I'm in South Carolina. I'm originally from New York, but I've been down here for almost seven years. Oh, I hope you recover from COVID quickly. Hey, Corinne. What's going on with y'all today? Is your anxiety okay? Oh, Ashley, I hope you recover from bronchitis. That's, I hate bronchitis. I love these mugs. I got them at the Corningware store when it was like at an outlet, so like a discount. And I think they're actually soup mugs because they came with lids. But I go through so much tea that I like need giant mugs. I'm not doing in person because of COVID right now. Just the distance sessions. But when I do start doing in person, I will definitely post and let everyone know. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it out of my home. I'm going to have to try and find a place to get a space. Wet heat, yeah. The humidity here is, is real. <laughs> I switch my teas up sometimes. I use green tea, sometimes chamomile. I think tonight I have like a black tea. I'm glad it's helping your anxiety. Oh no, she's got this inflammation under her lymph node. I'll try to get nice and relaxed, Karen. <laughs> on desktop, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys, we're almost at 90,000 likes. All right, let's do our selenite cleanse. Hold on, I gotta crack my back. Sorry if it's loud. Oof. Let's wait to find a credible Reiki healer. I would search locally, just Google and see like Reiki healers or Reiki practitioners near me. If you have any more like high-end spas or um, metaphysical stores, you can reach out to them and see if they can recommend anyone. If you have like a local Facebook page, you can post on there. Thank you for the music notes, Handful. That's pretty. Do 
You mean yoga studios? Yoga studios. I know around here there's a couple of yoga studios that do like meditation workshops and they have Reiki healers that come in too. Thank you, beautifully. Thank you, Ju. No dumb questions. So you can keep your eyes closed or open. You can watch me, you can watch the crystal, close your eyes, sound on, sound off, whatever you're most comfortable with. Yes, yeah, so when I do like one-on-one -on -one sessions, I always ask people ahead of time, like my distance sessions, you fill out the form so I know prior to, but in-person sessions, I would do the same thing. If there's anything in particular you want the healing for, I would make that my focus. Some people just want like in general overall, kind of like chakra cleanse, alignment, balance, and tune-up. <laughs> Some people want a specific either mental or emotional focus or physical pain that's focused. Yes, we're near the end. I'm right on the outskirts of Myrtle Beach. My tummy's rumbling. If anyone's tummy's rumbling, I feel it. <laughs> oh, Navel says hi. You're meowing. Maybe that's her tummy rumbling, I felt. <laughs> uh. Hey, Rachel, how are you? No, well, Mabel's been MIA lately. Been a hot minute since we've heard her on the live because <laughs> I don't stay on as late anymore. You didn't rumble like this before I said it. It's very random. It rumbled like a couple times, and that was it. It was done. She's also very happy Mercury retrograde is over for sure. Although I don't think she released anything on the full moon. I think she was manifesting more treats and food. <laughs> How's Ziva doing? Ziva's arthritis seems to be doing good. We have to take her to the vet tomorrow because she has another ear infection. And we have to get her another allergy shot because her skin, like we got her the one a month ago or five weeks ago. Um, so her skin had turned like black from the allergy, so it starts to get a little pink again, but it's still not back to normal. So we're going to do one more shot for her tomorrow and see if that helps and get her ears checked and cleaned. Her giant satellite dish ears catch everything. So <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, we are finishing up.
So retrograde was over on the 18th, but the full moon was last night. So we're still kind of feeling the energy off of that. So I think when we first hopped on, everyone said they had a really crazy week. So I think everyone's feeling the shifts. Probably only have a few more minutes. I'll do the rain stick before we leave too, to end it. I'll be back on tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow won't be as crazy and I can stay on a little longer. <laughs> Tomorrow will be around 10.30 Eastern Standard Time again. Oh no, April, everything okay? Just Was it just like overall like anxiety and stress? Yeah, my week was like crazy busy. Like I said, the reason why I was keeping this one short was because I was nonstop since like 8.30 this morning. So like 14 hours straight, just like go, 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 go. And this whole week has felt very chaotic. I said like my anxiety, like my body's just felt very tense with anxiety just because it's been nonstop. Rosalie's fundraiser is going very well. She was over 400 last time I checked. Um, I think a couple people already sent tips or donations tonight. Let me see. So I see to PayPal and someone donated right to the link, which I can't see who that is right now. So she might be close to her 500 and we still have, I think the 27th or the 29th is the last day. Thank you so much. Yeah, so anyone for the month of October who sends a tip or donation to my Venmo, PayPal, or Cash App, I'm putting all of those to her fundraiser for this month. So she's doing the Kids Heart Health Challenge. So she came home yesterday. When she has her gym rotation is when she gets like the little prizes and stuff for it. And she got two mystery gifts. So she was super excited. <laughs> she has 445. Okay, great. So you, someone must have donated directly to the link tonight. And then whatever was sent to me in PayPal, I'll put in there. So you guys have been absolutely amazing and you have made like her month with all the donations. Oh, thank you so much, Stacy. So I'm sure by the end of the weekend, we'll probably definitely hit the 500. I tried to record her when we hit like 130 the first night but it was like six o'clock in the morning and she was like still processing life. <laughs> so I was like, guess what we hit? And she's like, huh? And I was like 130 and she was like, whoa. <laughs> I'll see if I can get a video of her tomorrow. I'll probably forget by the time she comes home from school though. Or I'll see if maybe if I can go live during the day for a little bit so she can hop on and say thank you to everyone. But she's like elated. What benefits does an agate help with? Which type of agate? There's different ones. If you have a specific agate, I would just Google it. I mean, I think I have like blue lace agate, violet agate, crazy lace agate. There's so many types of agates. All right, reminder to hydrate. Whew, I made my face hot. Green agate. Let's look it up quickly. Ooh, snakeskin agate. I haven't seen that. Mm. 
Okay, so green agate, let's see. Is an incentive for self-confidence and self-esteem. It is able to restore inner strength, bring emotional balance, and persuasion and recognition of your ego. It brings you closer to your inner self, self-knowledge and expansion and personal growth. Those who are stagnant dis are discouraged and do not see how to leave this position can and should make use of this crystal as a tool. I am a Reiki master. We are doing Reiki healing, which is all energy based off of um, good intention and free will. You're very welcome. That was for the green agate, yes. All right, let me get the rain stick. You're very welcome. Let me move my tea out of the way so I don't knock it over. <laughs> so with the rain stick, if you have headphones in, it might be a little loud just to kind of forewarn you. But this um, is not energy healing, this is more of a sound healing. Just be cautious, I'll go slow at first. like an inner monologue. <laughs> you guys like this sound I got this rain stick on Amazon for like 14 and change US dollars so super cheap it is made with um, actual like cactus wood more of just the sound healing it puts you at ease that plus the sound in the background helps too Trisha, yeah, we're just ending.
Thank you, Mom. And now we've caused you stress. Okay, this is relaxing. <laughs> Got me nervous for a second. Oh, I'll be thinking of her for her CP. Ooh, we had a hundred thousand likes, guys. All right, everyone, make sure you hydrate. I'm almost have my tea. Perfect timing. Just finished my tea. <laughs> Alright everyone, hopefully you're nice and relaxed, feeling a little lighter, sleepier, deeper state of relaxation. <laughs> you're very welcome. And look, I made it over an hour and a half, so that was good. <laughs> I told you I would, I would do more than an hour. Yeah, so if you're not already following, make sure you're following me. Make sure you click my name and tap the bell so you get all notifications. My lives are Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings, 10.30 Eastern Standard Time. If you hopped on late, um, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. I upload all of my TikTok lives there so you can rewatch them or catch them from the start if you miss it at any time. And right now I think the one for headaches and the sleep and rel relaxation and the fan favorites were like really active so thank you guys for supporting the youtube as well all right everyone have a great day or night wherever you are and i will see you tomorrow love you bye